Yo, what up, Alpha Sex fan? My name is Shlomo McClellan, and I'm a certified personal trainer. So, what are some of the benefits of muscle mass? Let me ask you all a question. If you had the opportunity to take two pills, pull one, either you can lose 10 pounds of fat, or pill two, you gain 10 pounds of muscle, which would you choose? So, no, obviously, this question would have to depend, you know, are you skinny or are you overweight? But let's say, let's say you're an overweight person, all right? Let's say you're, you're not skinny. Because if you're skinny, I know you're not going to choose to lose 10 pounds of fat. Let's say you're an overweight person. Which would you choose? To gain 10 pounds of muscle or lose 10 pounds of fat? Now, whatever your choice is, I'm going to argue in this video that your choice should be to gain 10 pounds of muscle. Because gaining muscle mass is more important not just for long-term fat loss but also for long-term health as well so we'll talk about some a couple of reasons so why muscle mass is more is more important than fat loss for overall health. All right. Okay. That was supposed to be a one. All right. There we go. So number one, muscle mass, It we burn more calories depending on how much muscle we have. We burn more calories. Now, why, what do I mean by that? Because the amount of weight we lose depends on two things and only two things. No matter what diet, what diet you follow, it follows this one principle, the most fundamental principle in nutrition. And that is calories in versus calories out. If you're consuming more calories than you're burning, you're going to gain weight. If you're consuming less calories than you're burning, you're going to lose weight. It's as simple as that. Now, there's two ways to change this. You can either burn more calories, so you're consuming less calories than you're burning. And it's going to be done by, by, by increasing exercise, by moving around more, by burning more calories. Or this can also be done by increasing muscle mass. Now, how is muscle mass affected? Because the amount of calories we burn, let's say I'm burning a certain amount of calories right now, just sitting down. We all burn calories just sitting down doing nothing like all day. Like a person sitting down in a desk job, why is he need to keep on eating? Because sitting at a desk, it takes energy for the body just to sit down. So he's burning more calories. And the more muscle we have, the more calories we burn at rest. So we're burning more in perpetuity. And the second thing is we could we could always decrease and eat consistently consistently eat less calories, but there's only so much that we can do. So we burn more calorie, and there's a lot more on this topic. You know, I'd love to expound, but this it's, maybe I'll do a whole video dedicated to this topic afterwards. So that's reason number one: we burn more calories. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Reason number two: because there was an interesting study where. Um, it involved, I think five, not 500, like 470,000 people. And I wanted to see what, um, what is the difference in lifespan in people that walk fast versus walk slow. They found that fast walkers live on average for 12 to 14 years longer than slow walkers. Even if those fast walkers are categorically obese. Now, this shows a lot that our weight, the factor that may be causing us to be unhealthy may not be our weight. It may be our lack of muscle. We'll think that people that are overweight, they, they obviously have more muscle. That's not true. We know that people that have that are overweight suffer from sarcopenia, suffer from a loss of muscle mass. So that can be one of the main things because the less muscle mass we have, the less our heart has to work. The stronger our heart is, then the easier it is for us to stay healthy. So muscle mass, muscle mass keeps our hearts strong. Muscle mass keeps our hearts strong, strong as we age. Reason number three 
is that it keeps our metabolism metabolism up. So it keeps our metabolism up. This is kind of similar to number one, but not exactly. So another one of the most accurate predictors, there's a few very accurate predictors of life expectancy. Um, some of them are being the amount of calories a person eats in a day. Um, people that they found that people that eat like super low amounts of calories live surprisingly long, even if they smoke, even if they have terrible health habits. Another factor is walking speed. We just discussed that. Another another two factors are that they found another factor is also the quality of a person's social relationships. Very important. That's the third factor. Found is very is connected very very heavily to life expectancy. And the two factors they found are muscle mass and metabolism rate. So muscle mass is obviously I'm going to add that as a fourth factor. Increases life expectancy. Increases life expectancy. That's a huge thing. They found that muscle mass is very much connected to life expectancy. Two is that number three that I kind of skipped over that is that it keeps your metabolism up. That's another thing. When we have a high metabolism, then we're going to live, then we're predicted, I should say, nothing is definite, but we're predicted uh, by studies that people that have a higher metabolism are generally going to live longer. So, for example, like as we age, we see that people's metabolism slows down a lot as they age. And a big part of that is because people lose a lot of muscle as they age. People lose a lot of muscle. As a personal trainer, I work with people that say, hey, I'm getting older. I want to maintain muscle mass. I don't want to be at risk of falling. So I, that's what I help them do. I help them maintain muscle mass as they age. It keeps their metabolism up. It prevents them from gaining weight. It keeps their heart strong. It increases life expectancy. And in the long run, if your goal is to lose weight, yes, it's important to, to reduce calories. Yes, cardio is important. Cardio is very, very important. But it's important to have in your regimen something that has includes strength and, and muscle building. Muscle building is very, very important, especially for the long run. Because as we eat less calories and we're losing weight, we'll have to continuously eat less and less calories so your body will adapt to that. We'll be burning less calories as we eat less calories. Unless we in, we gain more muscle, that which will counteract the negative effects of kind of losing weight. So that's a that's a whole loaded topic in itself. I know I kind of kind of cutting it short on, on that on that bit right there. But overall, the more muscle we have, the easier it is for us to lose weight. That's point number one. And it keeps our heart strong. It and it makes it easier for us to lose fat in the long run. And the whole game should be in the long run game. So with that, I hope you all have an amazing day. I know this was a super long video, way, way too long. But if you enjoyed this, drop a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button below, and let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. Um, it's kind of my first time trying it, um, doing a Zoom type up thing. Um, usually I just do record videos, but I feel like having this right here um, so we can visualize it. Maybe a little more helpful. Let me know what you think of this. If you'd like to continue with this style, if you have any other recommendations. With that, I hope you have a great day. Peace out.